We are Professors Nook and Cranny. And I just want to, why do we always do it in that order? Why isn't it Cranny and then Nook? Well, that's the way we've always done it. But cranny begins with a curly K. K. K is earlier in the alphabet than N for Nook. So surely it should be Cranny and Nook. Yes. Okay, well, maybe this time I can say Cranny and Nook, okay? Yes, thank you. Okay. Go again. Rewind. Right, 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 right. Right. We are Professors Cranny and Nook. This is the story about a bird, a mouse, <clears throat> squeak, 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 and a sausage. Mm. Uh, oh. oh, the sausage! Now, these three friends all lived together in the hollow of a tree, and each one had a specific job to do to help around the home. Bird's job was to fly all the way around the forest, collecting twigs to light the fire and help it burn all day long. And the mouse would get up early every morning and sweep all the cobwebs in their home and then clear the fire, make sure it was ready to be built. And after dinner had been cooked, mouse would clean out the, the cooking pot make sure it was ready for the next day, and then sweep the whole house all over again before bed. And the sausage... Did we...? Yeah. And the sausage would chop up all the vegetables, put them into a great big pot, put the pot on top of the fire, and have it simmer away all day, ready for their evening meal. Now, the last thing that the sausage did before the dinner was ready was go for a little swim through the dish to make sure it tasted really delicious. And for a long time, the three friends were very happy with their three rolls. But then one morning, when Bird woke up, Bird thought, Hmm, I'm not sure about this way of doing things. It seems to me like I do all of the work. I'm the one that flies all the way through the forest every day, collecting twigs, and I don't just do it once. I do it two or three times a day. That mouse and that sausage are pretty lazy. Seems like they've got it too good to me. So the bird told the other two friends and, well, they were very saddened to hear that the bird wasn't happy. So they all agreed. OK, let's swap round. Let's swap jobs and see how we do. So the bird decided that she wanted to do the job of the mouse. So her job was to sweep up the cobwebs and build the fire for the day's cooking. The mouse was going to become the cook. So that meant that the sausage got up first thing in the morning, left the house to look for twigs around the forest. And everyone was up for giving this a go. Because sometimes, Professor Nook, it's good to try new things out, if you get what I mean. Right. Um, well, like I say, the sausage was out looking for twigs, very happy to be out of the house for a change. And the bird cracked on with sweeping the entire house from top to bottom of all the cobwebs. <laughs> <coughs> Which there was a lot. And then she built the fire. And because she was so happy with her job and quite relieved at how easy it was, she decided she'd go for a little nap. Should it be the mouse next or the sausage? I think everyone wants to know about the sausage. Okay, so the sausage was out collecting twigs. Um, now, the sausage was working so hard that it got quite warm, the sausage, and started to um, give off the sausage aroma. Which is very nice. Sausage aroma. Um, makes a lot of uh, creatures' mouths water when they smell the sausage. And one of these creatures was a fox. Hello, sausage. Oh, you look delicious. And without any hesitation, gobbled up the sausage and won't go. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. But 
because the fox had been so greedy and gobbled up the sausage in one go, it couldn't keep the sausage down and choked up the sausage. Terry, we're sorry about that old chap. You, you were actually bigger than I thought you were. <laughs> so the sausage ran off. So the mouse is preparing the dinner. Prepare the dinner, mouse. Oh, Thank yes. you. And Ooh. she's stirring the big pot. Just like the sausage does. And she starts to think about what has to happen at the end and how the sausage swims through the dinner and realises that the water's actually really hot. Yeah. The mouse isn't the person to swim through the dinner. Mm. The sausage will have to do that. And she's mm. a bit worried about where the sausage is. Mm. Sausage should have come home a long time ago. So she heads out into the forest to find the sausage. And she looks and she looks and she looks. And eventually she sees Sausage looking very sorry for itself. Back at home, the bird wakes up. Ping! Good morning! Wait a minute. It's a long nap. It's not morning anymore. It's evening. And the house is dark. <laughs> and cold. And where is Mouse and Sausage? Why is the dinner not ready? Why has the fire gone out? Oh, they are terrible at these jobs. Well, now they know how a real pro does it, don't they, Professor Nook? Yes. So, um, the bird did the rest of the sweeping up because there are always cobwebs <laughs> forming in the home and then started to wonder, hang on, where are the other two? It's, it's late. Where have they gone? I'm going to have to find them. So... She flew off into the woods and went to every tree in the woods that she could find as fast as she could. But there was no sign of the mouse or the sausage. And she was distraught. What had happened to her friends? And she looked all night until she was so tired. She just fell asleep in one of the trees. <laughs> Now, when she woke in the morning, she felt so guilty for, for being so harsh on the, the sausage and the mouse and realised, hmm, maybe we should have just stuck to our jobs in the first place. Everyone was at home and, and safe when we all did the jobs that we were meant to do. So she just flew around the woods in a bit of a daze, feeling sorry for herself. But then, without realising, she got quite close to her home and saw that there was a light coming from the home, from the tree. So she zoomed to the tree, <gasps> burst through the door, <laughs> and there was sausage and, sausage, sausage. sausage and mouse. <laughs> and they were all so happy to see each other. And Bird said that she was so sorry. I'm sorry. That she had insisted that they all do different jobs. I and I was broke. <laughs> so, 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 as they were all so tired and hungry, they all laid the fire together. Bird made sure they had the right twigs. Mouse made sure they laid the fire correctly. And then Sausage helped them prepare a good stew, including diving in at the end, swimming round, to add the extra flavour. Mm -mm. mm. And they all had a lovely meal, the best they'd ever had. And then they all that night slept the best they'd ever slept. That is a lovely story. Yeah. About friends really helping each other. Mm. So uh, I've been thinking, um, yeah. I just wondered if there were any biscuits at all around. Well, now that you mention it. Never go anywhere with Cranny without a fancy jar of biscuits. Mm.